Hey, this is Joe Gilder from Personas. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do mid-side processing in Studio One Professional with any plugins. So what's mid-side processing? It's this crazy algorithm that takes a stereo signal, two channels, left and right. It takes that, it processes it in such a way where it takes what's in the middle, so kind of the mono parts of the signal, and puts that in the left channel, and then it takes the sides, here's the middle, takes the sides and put those in the right channel. So then you can process those differently. You can EQ or compress the mid and the sides completely separately. Then it uses that same algorithm in reverse to get it back to normal stereo. You'll see this a lot in mastering and you'll see plugins out there that will allow you to do mid side processing, which is really cool, but you're locked into that specific plugin. What if you want mid side processing, but you want a specific compressor on the mid and maybe a different EQ on the side? With Studio One Pro and Mix Tool and our Splitter Tool, you can. Which means you can turn any of your plugins into mid-side plugins. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate the Splitter Tool using the project page inside of Studio One. Now, these are both actually features that are only available with Studio One Professional. So if you're using Prime or Artist, these two features alone might be a good reason for you to consider bumping up to professional. Okay, so I've got a song here. Let's take a quick listen. And let's say I'm mastering this track. Mid-side is something I usually only use during mastering. Rarely will I pull it out for something like mixing. But in mastering, I've got this stereo track here, but maybe I want the middle and the sides to sound differently. Well, I can't go in and EQ the guitars because I just have the final mixed stereo file. But I can do surprisingly a lot using mid-side processing. So the first thing we do is find mix tool in our plugin browser. And if we expand it, we'll see there's a preset called MS Transform. If I drag that onto the track, you'll see it's just a simple window that has the mid-side transform button pressed. Now I've actually changed my default preset for this to increase the volume by three decibels because I've found that doing the mid-side processing causes a drop in volume, um, so you can make that change as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this on here a second time so I have two copies of Mix Tool, both doing the exact same thing. So the first one takes the mid-side, does the processing, and it puts the mid on the left and the side on the right. And the second one takes that same mid-side process signal and processes it back to a normal left and right stereo sound. So let me show you what that sounds like. So here's, here's the mix, and I'll turn on the first one, and you'll hear it sound wonky. The kick and snare will be on the left, and it'll just be a little bit of like guitar sounds on the right. And then when I kick on the second one, it should go back to sounding like normal. Okay, so that's, if you don't understand mid-side, that won't make much sense, but hopefully you get what I'm doing. I'm converting it so the mid is on the left, the side is on the right, because once it's split like that, I can EQ those separately, and then I can have to obviously bring that back together and make everything be like a normal stereo file again. So, okay, we've got two mix tools, but what do we do now? We click on this thing here to bring up our routing matrix for this plugin, and what's great about this is it allows me to access the splitter tool. I'm gonna put the splitter tool right here between the two mix tools, and I'm gonna change the splitter to working in channel split mode versus normal, which means the left channel is going through here, the right channel is going through here. Next, I'll grab Pro EQ and put that on each side. Now, as you can imagine, you can do anything. You can use different compressors for the mid and the side. You can go nuts with it. I'm gonna show you a really basic use for this, and then we can kind of explore that even more. Just to check to make sure the mid side thing is working, we can hit play, and I can break the connection on either side to see what each one sounds like. Okay, so we're just hearing the side. and that's just the mid. So we can quickly just listen to the mid and just EQ it if we want to, or we can EQ everything in context. So right now when I listen, there's two things I wanna do. First of all, I feel like this could use a little more warmth um, in like the mid range. Like there's, there's, I can't feel the bass as much as I'd like to. So I'm gonna grab the EQ for the mid section. I'm gonna turn off the side for a second so we're just listening to mid, and I'm gonna do a boost around like 150 or so. Just 
brought back a little bit of warmth that I think was missing, okay? Now let's listen to that in context of everything. We'll turn this EQ off and then turn it on. You'll hear it brings in some warmth. But what it's doing is it's bringing in warmth in the middle where the bass guitar and kick drum and snare drum live, but it's not bringing in any more warmth to the sides. Typically, this is kind of painting with a broad stroke, but typically you want the sides of your mix to not be super bass heavy because that can feel awkward. So most of the, the low end happens in the middle and then the sides are a little less low end heavy. That's what I found to work well and sound good. Now I wanna focus on the sides. To me, they're a little dull. I'm hearing more of the middle guitar than all the acoustic and electric guitars that are playing on the sides. So we can either just turn those up, which we can do here, or we can EQ those to bring out some of the brightness, which will also help the cymbals be a little bit brighter as well. So let's just listen to the side. So we just brought in a little more brightness. Sounds weird, I don't usually do that in by just listening to the side because it sounds so funky, it's not very helpful. I'll usually do that EQ while listening to the whole thing, but listen to what we've done. I'll start with the EQ off and then I'll turn it on. The main thing you hear is the acoustic guitars suddenly make themselves known. If you're listening to this before the EQ, you might not even know there's acoustic there. But listen to how the acoustics jump out. You pick out, it's not super crazy, push them way out front, but the, the pick noise of those strummed acoustics comes out. And then the cymbals are a little brighter, but we haven't messed with anything in the middle. And if we had the, a vocal in here, those sides would not really, we could boost the, the highs on the side without really affecting the vocal in the middle. Okay, so let's zoom all the way out and listen to what we're doing completely overall in this entire song by just bypassing all the plugins entirely. So we'll start with no plugins, and then we'll add our mid-side processing in all together at once and listen to the difference. It gives the appearance that it's louder, but you can tell from the meters, it's not it's not like a, it may be a slight bit louder, but really we've, we've completely changed the balance and it's not just an EQ across the entire mix thing. We've brought more warmth out of the mids, we've brought more brightness out of the sides and combined it really does transform what this track sounds like. It already sounds pretty good without it, but once we add it in, we've really given it some life and some energy without having to go in and re-mess with the mix. Isn't that cool? I love that. Now, word of warning, you've stuck with me this far. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, be sure to like the video and subscribe. We got a lot of fun videos coming your way. But mid-side, as cool as it is, it can be a death trap if you're not careful. Um, you'll start wanting to mid-side everything and you'll go too far and you'll get too exaggerated. So you'll do something like this and this. That doesn't sound good, right? Um, but you'll think, oh, I've made it so much brighter or really I've made it so much louder and that doesn't really do us any good. So use with caution, with great power. I almost messed up that quote. With great power comes great responsibility. Use mid-side occasionally, work it into your system, but don't overdo it because you'll, you'll be mad at me if you do, okay? <laughs> okay, all right, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.